Hi everyone. As I sit down to record this video today, what's going through my head is the phrase life is what happens when you make other plans because that's really the couple of days I've had and this is certainly not the video I was planning to record this weekend because two days ago my beautiful partner had a heart attack completely out of the blue and I found myself in an ambulance speeding to the hospital with him. And when we arrived there, I was in shock, pacing up and down, not knowing what was happening, not knowing what to do. And when that passed, I found myself going back into my old coping mechanisms. The first coping mechanism was to stoke up the drama, really, to wallow in it, to suck as many people into it with me as possible. And when I played that through, then I find myself going into my second coping mechanism, which is organisational mode. And I was ringing everybody, rearranging appointments, cancelling things, getting everything organised for the next few days. And when I'd finished all that, there was no news from the doctors. There was no news coming anytime soon. And I was sitting there going, what do I do now? And this lovely paramedic had been speaking to me. He could tell I was in shock and he'd just been trying to distract me. And he'd asked me what I did for a living and I said I'm a poet and a meditation teacher. And then I thought, well, maybe now is the time to start using some of that finally in a stressful situation. So I sat there in the waiting room and I just closed my eyes, tuned into God, asked God to give us both strength and just started to meditate. And after about 20 minutes of that, I just felt so peaceful, so calm so strong inside and that really carried me through the next few days and it just really struck home to me how important it is now that we've got all these tools to actually use them when we really need them and I suppose I was able to use it because on the days when I've had little blips I've been practicing to try and keep calm to center back in myself back in my soul connect to something higher so when the moment came eventually I was able to go back into that but it's just um, incredible how we have all these tools and we have all this power within us and we have this beautiful divine connection and the times when we really need it are the times when we tend to forget it and let it fall by the wayside so it's just a, a strong reminder that it is about living these tools living these practices it is about using that beautiful connection to the divine when you really need it. It is about making it part of our everyday life so it is there in that moment when you really need it. And in all this, what I'm absolutely not saying is deny your feelings, deny your grief, deny your pain, deny your trauma. If you deny any of that and try to push it down, repress it, all you're going to do is block your energy, block your emotions and have it all there to be healed at some stage. But what I am saying is letting all those feelings flow, letting them go. But remembering they're flowing in this bigger context of being carried by and supported by God. That once you realise you're in this sacred space, in this sacred presence, once you realise you call in God's help, God's energy, that you are walking in this energy, that you are walking in God, that you are walking in this moon-like presence that will support you and carry you through anything, then everything becomes bearable, then the healing becomes bearable, feeling the pain becomes bearable, then a goal becomes possible and everything just becomes so much easier. And I also wanted to say about that word God, I've been having conversations about um, with some friends and family recently about how many of us were traumatised really by the words God, Jesus, by our upbringing but you know it's time to kind of get over it to put it a bit bluntly now because we're adults now so it's time to stop moaning about how those words have been used to control us and used to condition us and used against us in the past it's figuring out now what god what the divine what our divine source means to us it's taking a grown-up approach to find out what we see that as to build up that personal relationship with it and to remember this there to sustain us we were created in love we are meant to be love we will be loved by our divine source we are loved by our divine source to call in that love and support 
in the moments when we really need it. Um, I'm delighted to say that all is well now, that um, he's on his way home. I'm just about to go out and collect him now, just over two days since he was in, which is a miracle in itself. So thank you, God. So just remember, living it now, using all the tools to make our life easier when we really need it. So until the next time, live every moment, enjoy every moment, find the peace in every moment and take care.